Hello my lovelies, how are you doing? I'm back with another kind of like a homey video. I'm actually planning so many videos as you guys can probably see according to my tan. I've been tanning in the garden every single day. This is my like favorite lockdown routine. Every morning I make myself a cup of um, coffee. I usually drink a oat milk latte and um, I go outside, I lie on my sun bed, read a book, drink coffee and enjoy the like light breeze with the sun while thinking of new ideas, ideas for videos, writing down things I'm gonna do and it's my favorite time of the day like I really am thoroughly enjoyed. So I came to the idea of this video which is going to be overviewing my every single haul that I did on this channel in the last year showing you which pieces I think are the most worn pieces and which pieces have really really shown like the kind of like under the time test they have really prone prove themselves. Some of these pieces I've had for a year, maybe even over a year, some of them, I'm not quite sure, but I kind of try to go and watch my hauls which are around a year old and then come to sort of maybe March. I'm not going to show anything which is like from March to now because those kind of pieces didn't really have a time to prove themselves. So these are like items that I have purchased within the last year and I told that they were really really great purchases and that I have each worn many many times. I'm going to show you each piece and then we're going to show you a clip of when I did the haul, what I said, what I thought. I do quite a few hauls. I shop a lot. <laughs> well, it's not funny. The point is that I do shop a lot and you guys see these pieces. I really like them when I buy them but you never really know which pieces are the ones, you know, which pieces I completely fall in love with and why. So I decided to film this video, I thought it would be quite fun. But before I started, I just wanted to say that these are not my like yearly favorites because there are a lot of pieces that I think are my absolute yearly favorites, but I kind of haven't really managed to show them in the holes. So this is purely a comparison of what you have seen when I bought them to what I think about them now. And I also wanted to say that everything here is purchased with my own money, so nothing was gifted at all. I wanted it to be like very, very honest and transparent. So let's go straight into it. I mean, I don't know if I've ever done a haul of these little hoops, but they should totally be in my like uh, best haul ever piece. I'll link them below because these little earrings are what I have worn probably in more than like 10 videos throughout the year. I wear them all the time. I love them so much and they're really probably one of my best purchases ever. Let's start with the item number one. We've got a little Zimmerman jumpsuit over here. It's like a little cotton linen mix. I love this jumpsuit so much, especially the print. I've worn it way too many times. Uh, the whole point about this is that it's really easy effortless like i love styling it i've worn it in like cities such as like milan paris belgrade london to kind of more like holiday places such as porto cervo or santorini and the pieces like this are just so easy to put in your suitcase they don't take a lot of space they are um, something that you know you just put in a suitcase and you can kind of wear from day to night you can dress up or down with heels with flats and it's like a really really nice feel good piece that was my experience with it. it was very easy to maintain because i've actually also washed it in a machine i don't know if you're supposed to do that but i have done that so it has really really proven itself to me and i really love it you could have probably seen it as well in my um old dress collection video uh even though it's a play suit i love it the play suitness gives it a bit of a casual vibe, which is why I worn it with sneakers a lot. So now let's go and see what I said when I purchased it and styled it on. I've been eyeing this piece for a while and it's when it comes to Zimmerman on sort of like a more inexpensive side of Zimmerman pieces. It's like a really beautiful print, um, colorful and fun and I, I love the material. It's like sort of a mix of, I would say cotton and linen. Um, this maybe is my favorite piece so far. Like such a beautiful print on this jumpsuit. I love it so much. So it's short, it's not a dress. I've styled it with uh, my pink Chanel bag and the Miu Miu slides. However, white Dior trainers would also work really well here. Even like a white, I have like a big white jacket. So for these kind of like a little bit colder spring ones, I think 
this could be so so cute I'm sure one of my favorite pieces love the detailing this is so beautiful next item i have over here i have to say is not a prune do you think it's a prune does it look like a prune i think it looks like a giant prune it's a bottega veneta clutch pouch pouch is the word it's from the original first series burgundy color it's a very rare color one that i haven't actually seen that many people go for I love this dirt deep burgundy color. It's one of my favorite colors actually. And I specifically love wearing it with light pink. I think light pink and burgundy is like the best combo. Um, love this bag. I was not sure when I got it if this bag will be so, 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 so worn. But actually it's completely like, I mean, it has some like even kind of fingers on it because you know like how you grab it all the time. I love this bag. This bag has done me like massive favor in New York, London, Milan, Paris. I worn it in all fashion weeks. Whenever I don't know which bag to bring, I bring this one because it's so easy to style. I know people are still thinking, should I still buy a Bottega clutch? And now they're coming with like a pouch and a chain, blah, blah, blah. But this is still timeless. It's beautiful. If you really want to get a beautiful piece, maybe get a smaller intricciato one because I think that's also so stunning. It might be a little bit more expensive, but I really, really love it. And I mean, I have way too many Bottega bags in my collection, but this is still the most worn one of all of them. Don't worry, there'll be more bags because <laughs> altogether I think I have three that I'm very happy that I purchased. Well, I, I would say all of my Hermes bags, of course, but I decided to only include one because otherwise it's gonna be like a Birkin, a Kelly, a Birkin, a Constance, you know, and I don't wanna do that because you guys will be sick of it. Maybe, maybe not, who knows, let's see. I love this color. It's kind of like a wine, like a deep wine red to sort of color. And this bag is just a beautiful sort of clutch. Very, very cool, very like nonchalant. Like, you know, you look very carefree and cool and absolutely love it. I would love it in a nude color as well and perhaps a turquoise for the summer. Next piece is a suit. There's gonna be a lot of suits as well. This is probably the most worn of all of these suits because this suit is such a classic. I mean, I love suits. Maybe I should do a suit collection video. Would you guys like to see a suit collection video? It won't be easy to film. It'll be kind of like a dress collection video, but why not, right? If you want to see it, I will do it for you. Just let me know. This suit I love so much because it's kind of a casual, uh, more of a boyfriend -y style suit, but the material is quite corporate and serious. I love the cut. It's Isabel Moran suit. I'll make sure to link whatever I can find in the description box below. Some of these things are on sales, including this suit, like in a massive sale, by the way, because it's last year's piece. But this is a classic. This is never going to be a last year suit. Uh, love this. I wore it separately, so I wear a jacket with jeans and like a white top kind of like this. Or I wear trousers in the evenings kind of thing. I love wearing the suit for a dinner night out. So I would wear it, for example, with a, like a with a shirt uh, and high heels and that would just give it such a nice, nice little thing, you know? Really, really love this suit so much. I don't know what I was thinking when I was buying it, what was my idea behind it, but I have to tell you that it was the best purchase and I do not regret it for a second. I'm always on the search for a perfect, like perfect trousers, so yeah. I found perfect trousers and I'm gonna talk to you about the perfect trousers in this video. Actually, I found the perfect suit and it is from Isabelle Moran. Here it is. So there's an oversized blazer and then there are trousers as well. I'll be able to wear the trousers so much. I wear it with a crop top and some sneakers or you can wear it with high heels, with a shirt, like t-shirt and sneakers. Next item, I was not sure. Yeah, I have to tell you a funny story about this. You guys are gonna think I'm an idiot probably but you know we got a Chanel swimming suit now this swimming suit was so sold out it was impossible to find it was like one of those things that you know it's like haha when you walk in a boutique and I only wanted it kind of later than what I thought you know like obviously I wanted it in June not in February when you do go to buy a Chanel swimming suit if you want one but I really wanted it so I went to a Chanel boutique in Milan and um, I was like do you have a swimming suit and the lady said like the lady was so nice she said we do but we have size 44 or something like that let me check what size is 42 size 42 she was like it'll be too big for you I'm 36 so 
if you do the mats that's three sizes bigger than what I am and it doesn't matter the size the tag does not bother me at all like if there is a 44 that I like and I can tailor I'll be buying it I do not care what the tag says at all I'm not at all bothered about the kind of society's depiction of size so I said I mean 42 let me try it on you know <laughs> <laughs> who cares and the lady was like no madam like it will be too big for you and I was like thank you so much but I would like to try it so I tried it on and of course it was way too big the woman was right it looked like I was like 12 and I borrowed my 18 year old sister's suit you know so then I asked them could you please call the tailor and they did and the tailor said look the only thing that I can do is make the straps shorter here so it would pull it in a little bit but in the waist it's not gonna be too tight it's not gonna be too loose it's gonna be I was like that's all good honestly this is really perfect for me now they've tailored it for me I like came back one hour later and the swimming suit was waiting for me I'm so happy with it I'm so happy I've done it like make sure whenever you shop in the luxury shops to completely use the fact that most of them do have tailor and that if you do want something they can tailor it perfectly for you so if the jeans are too long if whatever the sleeves I don't know whatever you want they do have tailors so they can do that and offer that service for free to you so uh, make sure to always ask as I did and that's why that piece is one of my favorites and I've worn it quite a few times so very happy with it but then when I saw this I was like this could even like serve as a top so I can wear it with shorts which is what I did also in Santorini and at the back it's cut very deep it's not a very sexy one though it doesn't follow like a waistline or something like that it's just very straight Chanel like very Gabrielle very Coco kind of vibes. It was very difficult for me to actually show you a pair of shoes that I purchased within a year. For some reason I couldn't really find a lot of shoes that I purchased in the last year that I wore a lot. I don't know there were some but then I wasn't sure so the one that I was really sure that I wore a lot were the Dior cowboy boots with the star these are the that like what are they called LA boots so these boots over here I love so much they're like the kind of pointy cowboy um, ankle booties and I love these with dresses I love them with um, jeans they're so easy to wear they're really really comfortable they add just a little bit of height that are you know easy to pack in the suitcase and just wear throughout the day over and over and over again so a really great purchase I think in January 2018 I went with Dior Beauty to Iceland and I had a few samples from the showroom of Dior Fashion and one of the items were these boots the cowboy boots with a very recognizable Dior charm at the front as you can see obviously they have a leather sole I got mine in size 40 because they're pointy when you walk in pointy boots for the whole day sometimes you just wish they were size bigger don't you next item is not going to be a surprise it's probably I cannot say it's the best Saint Laurent purchase because I mean I have around like way too many like my, my Saint Laurent suits are my favorite pieces in my wardrobe blazers or trousers or I don't know but this piece you guys, I've worn so much. It is a Saint Laurent coat from uh, the Autumn Winter 19 collection. Now, this coat has been everywhere with me last winter. Everywhere, everywhere. I brought it to Paris with me at the beginning of December or end of November. Then I worn it in December, then like throughout Blogmas, then Fashion Weeks. January fashion weeks I mean this piece is iconic and it's a piece that I'm gonna keep forever like to the point where now that it's in sales I was thinking should I maybe buy one for the next season in a different color they also do like a nude one so I was thinking hmm not many people have gray one but I don't know I really really love it I think it's fabulous and personally I think it's one of the best purchases I will link below where you can find it on sale right now I think if I could recommend one piece from everything here, it would be this coat. It's amazing. I wasn't sure if it's gonna to be too much, but really it's not. It's the best purchase of the whole of last winter. A dress, a dress, dress, dress. I got this baby in January, so not that long ago, but let's zip it up. 
this is a rotate, beautiful, padded shoulders, high neck, velvet dress. Every time I wear this dress, I feel amazing. I think it's very flattering for everybody. Everybody that I saw in this dress, I thought that they looked spectacular. And I first saw this dress when I went for a launch. Uh, of Rotate in Selfridges, like they launched the capsule collection and this dress was one of the pieces in the capsule collection and I thought like, oh my god, like uh, this dress looks divine on everybody who's wearing it because there were like two or three people in the same dress it's like, why don't I have this dress? so I quickly went home, like went online and changed that, you know I would only say that it does run a little bit smaller so if you are um, quite petite, maybe size up, what size did I get? I got a UK 8. I think maybe 10 would be better just so that it doesn't cut me in the neck because it's quite short. So love this dress, really. I've worn it many times and I always get so many compliments every time I wear it. So it's a it's very very heavily shoulder padded it's just incredible for me to see what the girls behind the brand Janet and Thora are creating I still think this is like one of my top three dresses I own and it's a very inexpensive brand comparing to everything else that you can find on those online uh, popular retailers uh, let's show you her leather trousers first time when I saw these trousers I borrowed them as a sample from my Teresa they're from Petr Petrov, who's a Bulgarian designer, you guys know that, and it's not the only piece from the designer in this haul, like in this, not haul, but you know what I mean. So we got uh, these trousers, they're brilliant in the front, they're black in the back, and one of my favorite, like, one of my favorite pieces that I own overall because I think they're so easy 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 to wear I can like wear them for a dinner with a white shirt that's a little bit unbuttoned white like black blazer over the shoulders it's just so wonderful for every single occasion like with my Stella McCartney black blazer which I would include but it was a gift from the brand but it's like one of my old time forever favorite pieces that I own in my wardrobe you know this pair I was a little bit wary about because the leather looks so smooth like it's so soft and I was like oh, I'm gonna scratch this I'm gonna ruin it I'm gonna damage it no it's holding up so well it's black at the back burgundy in the front and you can style it with a knit with the sneakers, with the high heels, with the loafers, with whatever you want. The best, they're like cropped at the ankle, looks a little bit wider at the bottom, but it's not. And I really, really, really am so happy that I got these because they're so flattering and I keep wearing them over and over and over again. Specifically, these two together, even though the color is not quite the exact same, no one can really tell. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to kind of work it somehow. Cut the corner. This is what it would look like with leather trousers. So it doesn't have to be too day appropriate. Leather trousers can be worn with heels or flat boots. So whichever option you want. A shirt. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shirt. Remember it was kind of expensive and I was thinking, should I get a dress? Should I get a shirt? Should I get both? Maybe both? No, don't get both. Never get both. Tamara, whenever you get both, you wear one thing and then you don't wear the other thing. And then you're like, oh my God, why did I get both? Basically, I got a top. And I love it. I love Isabel Moran. It's one of my favorite brands, especially for kind of like a spring summer collect. Well, for all collections, but um, this was a beautiful linen-y, gauzy top with a crochet detailing in the front, I would say. And I love this. I've worn it quite a few times with nipple covers always because it's a little bit see-through, even though the nipples kind of get nicely covered by these little things, at least in my case. But of course, I fully understand that that can vary. So. I would suggest if you decide to get something like this to get also nipple covers just to feel very safe because I don't like wearing these things with a bra, especially because the back is, you know, let's see, you know, you can't really see much, but you know what I mean. So uh, this with jeans, with shorts, with skirts, so many different occasions. It's so cute. This detailing is so beautiful with hair up when you're tanned, when you're not tanned. I don't know. I love this top and I'm so happy that I got it. Basically, that's the bottom line. My favorite piece so far. I have so many beautiful tops in my wardrobe, but this I think is exceptional. A few things I have to say. I styled it very commercially, so it's very basic. As you can see, sneakers, denim skirt, this top. This top is just an art, like a piece of art for itself. 
again as you can see goes with any bag like any bag i just grabbed the first bag on the shelf and i think it goes with any bag like this i'm not wearing a bra and as you can see this is perforated so these are little holes and you can probably see my nipples a little bit but i'm all for free the nipple um no i'm just kidding i always have a nipple cover this is this is what i use so they're like little silicone nipple covers you just put it over your nipples and it's perfect i have a suit from Petr Petrov, another one, well not another one, but another piece, and it's this like like light lemon yellow suit. Now, I worn this, I believe, where was I? In New York? Yeah, in New York. I love this suit so much. The blazer is kind of a masculine vibe, which is what I prefer. I also have the trousers, which I'll try and insert a picture here, and I just think it's such a beautiful piece. I will show you how I styled it later when I just bought it. And I wonder if I was thinking if I should keep it or not. I wonder what I was thinking. I just know that this is on sale and this is honestly like one of the best pieces that I'm gonna wear this summer as well with like a white crop top or with a white t-shirt, the trousers and a white t-shirt with white sneakers or the blazer over a white dress or in many, many, many different ways. But I know that this was a great purchase and that this designer makes really great silhouettes. Um, I've never regretted a purchase from Petr Petrov. I've got already quite a few pieces from Petr Petrov. I am obsessed at the moment with pastel colored suits. And also I believe that this jacket will be so great worn even like as it is. And if I really want to be so cool, I can combine this knit under this jacket. Can you see? I've got a pair of earrings from Chanel. Love them. Love them. How do I show them when I have so many earrings already in my ear? But they're these ones. They're very logo, big, grandiose. But they reminded me somehow of the 90s, of me growing up. My mom had like some clip-on earrings. Even though I, pierced, I had my ears pierced when I was three. I remember the day when I went to pierce my ears. Some of you say that I talk too much in the videos. Do I talk too much in the videos? I quite like talking because I feel like I'm talking to you guys, to my friends, and that we are then closer and we're connected and I don't know. You know, like, I don't really talk much on Instagram, so this is my outlet to get to know you guys. So, these earrings I love. I recommend them. They kind of keep bringing them out in different shapes, styles, forms, gold or silver or whatever you want. But these are the ones that I got and I really, really like them. They're very expensive, but I wear them so much and every time that I have worn them, they've gotten me so many compliments. So, very, very happy that they made it, you know. But I've been searching for these ever since I saw them in Capri very like cool i think i'll show you what they look like on i don't want to put them in because you guys know that i always have to disinfect before i try them but i'm sure you will see them very soon in one of my vlogs that's gonna be a surprise but i was contemplating this purchase why i don't know it's because it just came out when i bought it and it is my chanel 19 tweed bag in the maxi size ladies and gentlemen this is my favorite Chanel bag. Can you believe that? To the point where I just wanted to buy another Chanel 19 bag. And if you guys are like were wondering, no, Chanel 19 has not increased the price in the UK yet. So if you do want to buy one, there are still ways of like, you know, buying things. So the point is that um, I would like a medium sized Chanel 19 in leather, in a different color, because now they have like denim, they have navy black, they have beige, like cream beige, like white, off-white. They have green and orange, didn't want any of those colors. So I still have this baby, which is for sure one of the best purchases of the past year of all the hauls. Do you guys remember how I unboxed it? I will insert a clip if you don't, if you haven't seen it. But I'm very curious to watch this video and see what I said when I opened this bag. Because if only I knew how much I'm gonna love it, I would buy the other tweed as well. Because there was a different tweed combo as well, like white and black check print, which was so cool. But I got a navy one, so. Yeah, don't, don't regret it at all, but I would have gotten the other one as well. I just remember leaving Chanel thinking like, ouch, my bank account hurts, but... Celebi, what happens in Paris stays in Paris, right? It's absolutely stunning. It's navy, it's Chanel tweed with gold hardware, and it's really big. It definitely fits my laptop, it fits a lot of, lot of, lot of... 
stuff, I would say. It would fit my laptop, my cameras, and all the important stuff. Once you open it, inside it has a big back pocket. Also has a longer shoulder strap, but it's not a crossbody. And inside it's just empty space, so you can organize it however you want. It has some leather detailing and then mo mostly it's canvas. But Chanel tweed is quite expensive because it's very like specific and particular tweed so it's like more kind of perceived as very special the Chanel tweed. Zimmerman dress uh, numero dos, creo que si, si. I have this dress since probably like last May, June maybe, and I worn it so much, so much. Love it. I don't know like if I should, what to say about it really. I know that I've worn it a lot and every time that I worn it I felt amazing in it. It's very comfortable, it's very easy to maintain, it's easy to kind of style with sneakers, with sandals, with heels. And to be honest, like if you have this in your suitcase, you can wear this like for a pretty spring cute like wedding because it has the flowers. Um, you can wear this for like a nice event, you can wear it for a day shopping trip. Let's keep it strong with my Zimmerman theme. I got a dress which I think is so stunning and this one I also got um, on 30% off so I was like yes scored these little like bubbles are beautiful and my favorite thing are the sleeve they kind of feel like they're of sort of like an organza ish material which is printed I love it so much and um, I want to wear it so much my next piece that is in my favorites which is my Birkin 25. I bought this bag <laughs> when I was wearing this dress and that's how I filmed the vlog I believe. I don't know if we can insert a snippet of it. We're now in a very secluded area of Hermes. As you can see there's no one around. It's been less than 24 hours in Paris right now. Right there behind me is the flagship Hermes store on Faubourg Saint Honoré. Can you tell? And very exciting new purchase but this dress maybe brought me luck because I scored this bag and the lady was like it will go well with your outfit there's a myth that sometimes they will give you a bag that will match your outfit do you believe that myth? leave the comment below if you are a Birkin owner or an Hermes bag owner and they have sold you a bag that matches your outfit I'm really curious to see this would be the next piece that I love so much my Birkin 25 in a rose warp and I really really love it I mean I know that like who wouldn't right who doesn't like this bag I mean that like it's so cute it fits the right amount of stuff I have inside a little divider and I just really really like that it's so easy it's not like light pink it's a little bit darker pink it's just easy to wear and I've worn it so many times it's such an effortless piece actually I've worn it winter and summer with this bag with the other Zimmerman jumpsuit with the gray Saint Laurent coat I love this bag and I perhaps would like another Birkin 25 who knows maybe it's in the tarot any astrologists that can do my astrology like natal chart what can I tell you in here ladies and gentlemen we have A Birkin 25 in this beautiful I would say kind of like a fuchsia purpley pink color last piece that I would love to show you is a Calvin Klein suit and I worn it so much I want the blazer separately the trousers separately I love this suit I mean I'm a suit kind of girl I have a black suit a white suit a gray suit a light blue suit a yellow suit a gray suit you know I love suits I have so many pink suits and how could you blame me? Suit is something that like it just makes you feel so powerful yet feminine, in control, classy, composed. You know, if you wear a suit on a first date, which I very often do or on any date, you are like showing that you are classy, that you are not there just, you know, to be taken for a ride. You are like, you know, you look well kept. You have charm, but you're still in a suit. And I think that's woman's power. So suits for me are very important. And this is probably one of the best purchases of the last year for me. I love it. I love how this pink complements my skin tone, my hair. And for sure, I have to say, I'm very happy that I got it. I've been eyeing it for a long time before I purchased it. I remember that very, very well. So, 
well done me for a good purchase. Now, I've been looking at this suit ever since it came out and I wanted it so badly, but it was a little bit too expensive. I thought, because I think like, okay, I already have a pink blazer, you know, like pink trousers, I can buy in Zara, obviously not this well tailored. So as you can see, the trousers are kind of slim-ish trousers and then like an oversized blazer. Now, this would be belt option number one. We have something preppier, this Chanel belt, which I think is quite preppy. It's not very my style, but I think it can be styled this way. This would be cool if you want to make more of a statement. And in case you're way too cool for any of those previous high heel stylings, this is my training op training trainer option. So I've like rolled the trousers a bit up. Anyway, I think that's it. That's what I could kind of understand. So just to kind of clarify one more time, these are the pieces that I love the most from the hauls that I filmed for the YouTube channel within the last year. Of course, there are pieces that I have purchased in the last year that I haven't shown as part of a haul that are my favorites as well. So just to make sure that this is how I've done it. And I did not include any brand gifts. So these are all the items that I purchased with my own money. And that is it. With that, I conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do subscribe to this channel because it would mean a lot to me if we become the virtual friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.